Well, if your household is like my household, it's filled with seltzer fanatics. Uh, and so it quickly becomes way too expensive to just be buying seltzer by the can. And so you got one of these things, the soda stream. Um, the problem with these is that you gotta buy these guys. And while it's definitely cheaper to be buying these guys and to have the soda stream, if you drink any amount of seltzer, uh, to buy it this way than it does to buy it by the can, um, the problem for us came when the pandemic hit, these things became impossible to find. They were always sold out. So um, I came up with another system here, which I'm gonna show you guys. And uh, to boot, in addition to, you don't have to wait for these things to come in stock at Staples um, or at Bed Bath & Beyond or whatever, is that uh, this method is even cheaper in the long run than, than buying these guys. Um, so, Nothing is uh, changed about how this soda stream works. Um, the difference comes when you open up the back here. I'll show you. So in the back, you'll see instead of a canister like this, uh, we have a hose. So this I bought on Amazon and I'll put a link to it and I'll, I'll put a screenshot up of what that looks like. So this is just a stainless steel braided hose that delivers the CO2. So I did have to drill a hole in the back here. So you do have to drill a hole in the back. And then this braided line, uh, I think it's a six foot long one. So mine goes behind the refrigerator and goes up to our cabinet up here. So I drilled another hole in the back of the cabinet to go up into it. And then up here is where we have um, my CO2 cylinder. So this is a, a five pound tank and it's just hidden up here in uh, our liquor cabinet. So this was purchased at uh, Air Gas, which is a, um, uh, I don't know what you would call them. So they're like a supply company. They sell everything from carbon dioxide to, to welding gases, you know, all sorts of um, things that you would find in canisters like this. Um, so this you can buy from them. Um, and then that line comes up from the back of the cabinet and just hooks in right here. So I didn't need any special, I just needed an adjustable wrench. I didn't need any special tools. Um, I didn't need any special adapters. This, uh, this line that I ordered on Amazon came ready to hook up uh, on this end to the tank and on the other end to the soda stream. It was all ready to go. So there's a, a rubber gasket in here, which actually they give you extra ones so they look like this. There's a rubber gasket inside that adapter right there where it hooks on. You get it on nice and tight. Um, you just turn on the, the gas up here and uh, it's ready to go. So I just keep this hidden away in the back, back there. And this five pound tank uh, obviously lasts a lot longer than, um, than those little tanks uh, that come with the soda stream. Uh, so that's that's pretty much it. It's Everything works uh, normally back here, just as it would as if you were you're using one of these guys.